Oh, and a little cricket. <sighs> That's okay, though. That's okay. This stuff's harder to cut. See if I can fit some of this in the back in my backsplash area. I'll have to add on to it along the bottom and then stick something to it to make it pretty, but we'll just see how it works. So, if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to fit that new cut piece back in there. It's a little bit harder with the dresser in, but I haven't fastened that in there yet. Okay, as you can see, I got some of that back in there. And I'm going to need some more to fit in along there. And then I'm going to put something over it to tie it all together, like a nice backsplash, because it actually looks pretty ratchety. And then over here, I got to do some backsplash stuff. I'm going to do a countertop that's going to put all of this together. But I do have a sink, so I'm super proud that I got in there. And all I did then is shorten a drawer so this drawer is just for looks just like down here this one with the square and it's going to have a vent on it because that's where the heat flows out so that's going to be secured straight there still don't know what i'm going to do back here but we'll figure it out and i bought the porta potty and it fits nice into that little nook there so what i'm going to do is come up with something to make it a bit of a privacy thing um yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm thinking of using this. I don't know if I'll keep that. But I want to sit on the toilet. I have a little bit of discretion. At the same time, for the size of my hips, it's perfect if I didn't have this board in here. So when it's just myself, I don't care. And yeah, if someone's with me, they don't need to be in here when I'm using it. I don't know if you have any ideas just list it below um yeah and ideas for the bed setup let me take a look at that with you okay so you saw the other picture of when I had this really thick and stuffed that was gonna work so I took a bunch of stuff out and then I um folded it over and now I have it out I have this is the bottom of a single bed that I have at home. And if I lift it up, I have a little shelf there. And I just bought this little guy so I can use it as an extra bench and storage. And then use it to prop this up. Everybody makes those slat beds that they pull out, which are great. But... I don't know how that's gonna work with this futon. Like this futon's covering the whole bed here up to here. Then I was thinking of doing a Murphy bed and putting my single mattress in, but I don't really wanna do that because the mattress is pretty heavy. So tonight I'm gonna to try to stay in here and see if this is okay. This is only three or four inches in total for memory foam. So I'm gonna try that. I was kind of thinking maybe I could use an air mattress underneath the foamy and deflate it when I want to put it up like a Murphy bed and keep it super duper thin. Because if I have the Murphy bed here and it's too thick out, I don't have very much room to sit on the actual seat that's underneath here. And I still want it high enough that I can access the seat belts and traveling. So right now with it down, I can just fold this, pull out seat belts, hang on. I have to secure this part though, right? I also noticed yesterday I was hanging around in here and there's a shelf up here and there's no insulation behind it. So we're gonna have to fix that. I could feel a draft and it was super breezy. Yesterday evening it was like minus 11 with the wind chill and I could feel it coming in there. I also noted that on my back door, the black seal on one of them isn't there if there ever was one but there needs to be one so I'm gonna put that in I also did some makeshift 
curtains for now. My son was in here last night and we're hanging out and it was fine. And uh, he started talking about scary movies and stuff and I'm such a chicken. So then I got freaked out that people were going to be peeking at me in through the windows. I'm in my driveway. I'm in the safest community probably in the whole world. But because I had light in here and not outside, I don't know, it creeped me out. It's slightly tinted so I wouldn't see anyone looking until all of a sudden, boom, there's a face right in the window. So, yeah. Um, so that was a big part of me not spending the whole night. So I just used a little bit of Velcro and some, some material that I'm going to stitch and do the seams on. And, um... Yeah, we had McDonald's yesterday for supper because I was working in here all day. Completely forgot about eating. So sent sent my boy off to go get us a McDonald's. And in about two hours, my stomach. You know McDonald's. You know what it can do, right? And I could not get myself out of here and into the house fast enough. So I did realize that a porta potty, <laughs> it it's a good thing to have so I went to Walmart and I bought one um, spent a hundred and some odd dollars on it it's light enough that I can dump it myself and refill the water in the top I really wanted composting but <clears throat> where I want it um, isn't gonna work right now so um, I've done a lot of stuff in here. I still want to put some vinyl or something over the tinted windows on the cabinet doors. It's kind of like I'm doing everything I can but the electrical. That is the one that really scares me. I don't know if I have an isolator between the front battery and the two secondary conversion ones um, and I also have space for an additional two batteries to go in so I need to know if I have an isolator in there I think my switch is for that I'm not sure I I'm gonna have to do some more research or if somebody knows by all means please message me um, and I have one solar panel 150 watt and I need to get one more I want to have 300 watts of solar power and two more batteries so that should be plenty. Um, if it all works the way I think it does, the battery's going to be charging off the alternator. And then that isolator will prevent it from, when I'm using the power in here, and if I go too low on the batteries, it won't then drain the battery in the motor. Um, yeah. So I want to do that. I think... I might do all the wiring separate from what's in here. It really scares me. I have an inverter, a 3000 watt inverter. Um, I want to use it and put it in here and see if other things start functioning because that would be awesome. But I'm not familiar with how all the power works, right? So I would have to make sure there's no power coming through these wires um, and from the batteries. Yeah, I, I have to kind of wrap my head around that, do again some more research. Everything I have been doing is completely new and different for me. But uh, the times that I wanted to give up when I first started grinding that metal, um, I hung in there. It really sucked at first. And the longer I did it, the cooler it was. Once I got one piece off, I was like, dang, I can do this. Um... Yeah, it's it's very rewarding. It's very rewarding to do this myself. I do know a couple of people that would probably be more than willing to help me, which is awesome. Well, I am going to wrap this video up for today, and I'm going to go put my pajamas on, and I'm going to go spend my first night in the ambulance, and the next video, I'll let you know how it went. Thanks. Have a good night.